Hi everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and uh, right now I'm going to share with you the latest releases from Stamperia, which are available in our shop right now, and we're shipping these right now. So the first one I'm going to share with you is um, what they call the Romantic Collection, and it's called Garden House. And let me look at my notes here. Okay, in addition to what I'm going to show you, there's also acetate uh, dyes that are available, but um, we haven't received those just yet, so I can't show them to you. So here is the garden collection. Let me move aside some of the bits. Isn't this lovely? I love this. I always love a sketch. Um, these would make for fantastic cut-aparts and um, really layering, um, so I think that's going to be lovely as well. I like um, when they use circles and ovals in the patterns because it's kind of more of an, an organic feel. These flowers would be excellent for fussy cutting. Oh, and I, there's again those round shapes. So in mini albums, at least, almost everything is rectangular. So to have um, circles and or more organic shapes available to sort of soften the edges is always nice. So these are lovely. Okay. The blue is very, very pretty. Um, there's actually multiple shades of blue. Uh, the darkest one is kind of like a, what would I say? It's not quite navy blue. It's not that dark. Maybe like royal blue. Right? These would be fun to fussy cut. You could actually have um, this shelf be a pop-up inside your album. So you open it up and then... Um, these would pop away from one edge and you could have a lovely photo right behind it. Okay, teeny tiny little ladybugs. The birdhouses are very pretty too. It's a lovely, lovely garden collection. Over here, we've got the list of the months and the seasons. So this would make for kind of a nice almanac um, garden book. Okay, kind of a collage, more frames. I love the frames, they're so fun to work with. Okay, nice cut part page, which is the end. So this is the 12 by 12. It also comes in eight by eight, six by six. So if you're a card maker, you're, you're definitely gonna find what you need here. There are decorative chips. So we've got tulips got Blossoms Flourish, got these various leaves and the um, veins inside of them, which I think is very pretty. We do have the die cuts. This is what they call the chipboard, which has adhesive on the back. And then we've got these lovely rice papers. I'm going to show them to you one at a time, so that because they, they're kind of transparent. There we go. I was trying to tip it so we wouldn't see the glare from my artificial light. Okay. Okay, all of this is available and is shipping right now. And then soon, um, and we have on order but haven't received yet, the acetate die cuts. So those are on the way. So that is the garden collection. Garden house. Okay, Province. So Province is a re-release. And there are some new pages in Province. I haven't made an album with this. But there are some additional pages or designs in this collection that weren't in the previous release. So we'll go through that. I wish I could point them out, but I am not familiar enough with the collection to, let, to tell you that. I love these cut aparts. That little perfume bottle is so cute. Lovely, very nice. These are nice uh, cut apart sides. So they make nice little cards for inserts. Got some journaling on the back side. A nice collage page, which makes for excellent background on photos. I love the bicycle. I think um, if I did an album with this, that would probably be my front page or my album cover. Okay, we've got these nice large cut aparts. Let's see. This is probably five and a half by five and a half. And this looks like five and a half by eight and a half. So that's a that's a pretty large one. So that would be a pretty cover too on a six by six by eight album if you did uh, portrait instead of landscape. And I like this. This makes for a lovely title on your album. Okay, beautiful. This is lovely. Um, this would also make a very good cover to your album. I I really wouldn't want to cut through that. So 
I think I would sort of figure out my album cover, you know, by visually trying to figure out where my frame would lie. These are beautiful. Um, I, I love when they give you nice, um, consistent backgrounds to work with because it makes layering um, the pattern so much easier. More cut aparts. This is like a mock envelope. And they've got journaling space on the back side. This is also another lovely, consistent background to work with that helps you with the layering. So that is the latest release of Province. And with it comes a set of die cuts. It also comes in a six by six. And I'm a little bit out of order. And an eight by eight. We've got multiple decorative chips that coordinate with this. I've got the cats. More butterflies and birds. And then we've got these potted plants. In addition, we've got our adhesive back chipboard. And then here's the rice paper. This probably is my favorite one. It's just a nice, beautiful uh, background. Another lovely rice paper. All of them are really pretty. This is nice too because it infuses some green into the patterns. Lots of rice paper with this collection. So if you're a decoupage person or if you like to use these on the cover of your albums, you will have lots of choices. And then here's that bicycle, which I really like. And I, if I'm not mistaken, it's a mirror image of the other one. I think the other one was facing that direction. Not positive. Anyways, that is the Lavenders latest release. Next, I'm going to share Casa Granada. Casa Granada is what I'm working on right now. And Casa Granada has a collection pack and a background. So I'm going to flip through each of these. It's lovely. I always like anything that has sort of a French door look to it. Oops, I was a little bit off uh, out of frame. I love these cut aparts. I used these extensively in the last album that I did with Blue Fern. I used lots of cut aparts. Uh, this is pr probably the most striking image in the collection to me. So this will be my cover. I, l I love this background. I, w I wish there was more of it. Okay, I haven't decided how many packs I'm going to use. I do believe I'm going to go eight and a half by eight and a half. So these are nice uh, inserts or journaling for journaling. This is beautiful. And then again, there's, there's circular patterns, which are a little bit more organic, you know, like flowers. So that really um, helps soften the, the hard edges, the 90 degree edges of an album and make it a little bit more pleasing. This has this calendar in here, and I'm, I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to use that. I'm going to try to use the calendar in the album that I'm, I'm doing right now, but I haven't figured it all out. Lovely. Lots of tags. In this case, I might use one or two tags, but I think I want to preserve a lot of this paper uh, to use. But I probably use two packs, so I'll be able to go back and forth. Lots of cut aparts. That's the other thing is you're going to get cut aparts whether you use the tags or not. So, and that's the back. Now here are the backgrounds. So I was thinking about this um, the other day. It's like, what's what's the difference, right? What what's a collection pack versus um, the backgrounds? And so what I want to share with you is when you're looking at the collection packs, what you'll find is on one side there's always a very bold um, image featured like this teapot and the coffee grinder and the plates, these pomegranates. And then on the flip side, it's more like a pattern. Well, in the uh, background selections, it's, it, you don't have that big striking image that's in the center or on the lower corner of, <clears throat> of the page. So you have um, really more of a background and less of that sort of striking image. So that's what's different, and I think they it makes it work together really well, especially if you're doing layering like in a mini album, where if you have too much pattern, it's just hard to look at. I love this. This is lovely. These are lovely backgrounds. So you can really see layering in some of those very strong, bold images from the previous package. <clears throat> 
Lovely. So this, I think this is new in the last year. And I remember having this conversation with Snapperia. Julie and I had a meeting with them and we said, you know, graphic does this thing with patterns and solids and we just love it because it, it really lends itself to layering in these mini albums. So I was happy when they um, came out with their version of, they don't call it pattern, patterns and solids, they call it backgrounds, but I was really happy to see that. I think it makes it easier to work with these collections. Okay, in addition to what you just saw there, so you've got the 12 by 12 collection, the 12 by 12 background. We've got the eight by eight collection, six by eight collection. We've got these beautiful adhesive back chipboard pieces. In addition to the die cuts, which are also uh, chipboard pieces, they're just not adhesive backed, but they're real dense like chipboard. And then we also have these beautiful rice papers. This collection also has a lot of rice papers um, to choose from. They will have acetate die cuts too. They just are on order right now. If you go online and you see anything is out of stock, don't worry, we're getting more. <laughs> it's on its way. We've already re-upped our order. So it'll, it should be in shortly. Lovely. And these are all A4 size, which is pretty common for the rice paper. <clears throat> and not just with Stampery, even some of the other collections that we carry. Okay, so that is Casa Granada, which I'm working on right now. <clears throat> That'll be the next album I release. Okay, the next thing is Savannah. Savannah also has the collection pack and the backgrounds. So let's go through it. We're gonna start with the collection. Oh, I just love that right there with the babies. So cute. Lots of cut aparts, sentiments and quotes. This is a beautiful, beautiful image. I really like this. I think that might wind up being my cover <laughs> if I do something with this. This one's also very beautiful. Okay, we've got that nice six by six probably image here in the middle and then all these nice little cut aparts. These little cut aparts are really nice to use as, um, as embellishments on your pages. It's just the right size. It's about two by two. This is lovely too. This is a nice um, border strip. Um, you could use it on a flap, it's just an edge. It's just an interesting uh, element to sort of add here and there. But your rhinoceros, here are, these are about five and a half by five and a half. So these make for nice bifold inserts or um, the top of, uh, feature it as the top of a flap and then have photo space behind it. Although I would have, it's really tough when you have to choose a side, isn't it? <laughs> That's why typically I use two packs so I can, I don't have to choose. One can be the A side, the other can be the B. Another um, print, lovely. All of these tags are beautiful. And these lovely old trees, I love it. I love the circles. Like I said before, um, adding something circular or oval sort of creates more of an organic feel and has uh, sort of softens the edges of all those right angles in an album. Lovely cut apart page. Okay, so that's the collection pack. So let's take a look now at the backgrounds, which I haven't seen yet. Oh, there's that big, beautiful piece. This is lovely too. This is gonna be a nice, gonna make for a nice album. Very event specific, but beautiful. Lovely. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I like these sort of rustic pages. And there's our zebra. And kind of a border page. I like it. And the stripe page is always nice. Oh, look at this. That's, that's fun. More stripes. So this is this is really nice. This is going to be very easy to work with um, in terms of integrating these backgrounds with the collection pack. So again, we've got the 12 by 12 backgrounds, 12 by 12 collection. We also have 
eight by eight collection, six by six collection. Got a couple of different chipboards. One with the trees and animals. A little bit of wording here and some borders. We've got our chipboard die cuts. And this collection has the adhesive die cuts or chipboard. It also comes with uh, collectibles. Now I had mentioned this before, but I'll mention it again. The collectibles are interesting because they have a front and a back and they go together. So I'm going to bring this up so we can take a look. So um, the front and the back go together. So you have sort of an A side, B side. So it's, it's just fun that you can use both sides. You don't have to back it with something. So it's kind of interesting. I love it. You guys will enjoy it too. So here's the, the little cats, for example. Here's a good example to look at. So as you can see, they're going this way on the front. And they're going that way on the back. So if you fussy cut these and put one of them behind the other, you'd have, um, you'd have a cutout that had a face on the front and the back that was consistent. So these are, these are fun to work with, especially if you like to do anything that's like a pop-up. Um, or if you want to pull it out and look at the front and back, it'll be the same. Here are the A4 rice papers that go with this collection. Lovely. These would make for lovely boxes. There's the giraffe. That's so sweet and soft. <clears throat> and there's the elephant. Okay, so that's it for the Savannah collection. So now the last collection I'm going to share with you is a child collection, and it's called Daydream. And this is fun. Um, they don't do a lot of kids' collections, so I'm, I'm really... Uh, interested in working with this one. So Daydream got these nice borders, page of cutouts. Um, I like the frames where you can cut out the, the center and also drop a photo be behind it. Got this nice background page, lots of cut aparts if you want to do cards um, or have uh, photo embellishments. Lovely. This makes for a beautiful 12 by 12 layout if you're a 12 by 12 person. Of course, if it's eight by eight, same thing. You could have two side by side in the eight by eight. You could cut these out and have photos behind each one of these things. And then you could take, say for example, this butterfly, cut it out of its frame, layer it on it, and then have a photo of someone in the actual frame. Lots of things to do. You can customize um, your album with the name of the individual that you want to feature in your album. I've got lots of uh, titles and quotes. It's a nice simple background for layering. <clears throat> lots of cut apart cards for journaling. These are also cut aparts. Each one of these could be a bifold featuring a photo inside. So tons of opportunities here. I like it. And then here's our round, soft edge images. More cut aparts, and that's the end. So that is Daydream. In addition to the Daydream comes Baby Dream in pink and blue. So this is meant to coordinate with this collection. And I think that's great. Um, I'll show you what the backgrounds look like. Hopefully there's not too much glare. So you've got some frames down here. Got some cut aparts, but mostly just backgrounds. That's for the pink, and here's the blue. Pretty much the same, same patterns, just in the blue hues. This comes in eight by eight. We've got our adhesive back chipboard, and then our die cuts, and there's a ton of them. It doesn't actually say on the package how many die cuts are in here, but there's a lot. Um, it's I struggle to use all of them. So there's tons of die cuts in there. Okay, we've got some of these decorative chips. I like this one. It's full of titles and quotes, which are very easy to use in the album or on the cover. And these are um, <clears throat> elements. So you've got teddy bears, ducks, a kite. Lovely. And then a clock. And then the last is I'm going to share with you the A4 rice papers. 
I could see a whole bunch of little trinket boxes made with this stuff. I love this. I gotta say, I like the pink. I have a boy, so I got my fill of blue. Okay, more. So lovely for decoupaging um, either the outside of your album or um, decorative boxes. So we have a lot going on, right? So let me go back over all of these collections for you. So there is the Daydream. Here is Casa Granada. Savannah. There's so many. <laughs> province and then garden house so we've got a ton of new collections over in our stamperia shop go take a look around um and if we don't have them yet um they're coming soon the acetates will be available for savannah casa granda garden house and daydream otherwise everything else is shipping right now if you run across something that's not in stock don't worry it's already on reorder um so keep checking and that should be back in stock shortly and just as a reminder i'm currently working on Casa Granada. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Please take a minute to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.